it's grown so fast, you know, the last 10 years, it's turned into like a phenomenon now. There's so many uh, branches of the centers now. It's gotten pretty big, it's pretty intense. I can't even keep up with it anymore, you know? I look around and I think, man, this thing has gotten so wide open. The whole idea of having your buddies hang out, you know, and uh, wrenching on bikes and just drinking beer and, you know, it's like you never have to grow up.
Cool. How was traffic? Good. It's hot. That's it? Yeah. Made it no problem? Nope. It's good. Hot, isn't it? Yep. Want some water or beer? Yeah, I want some water. My name is Cuddy Noteboom. I named after a bottle of scotch. I wanted to build a bike, but I didn't want to spend $20,000. So I figured I'd get a bunch of my buddies together and, and try and build this thing as cheap as possible. I've been a center for about two years now. So I'm not, I'm not a newbie, but I'm an old timer like Rico and those guys. I've known Rico for a long time. He's, uh, he's like my brother. Where's the beer? We got some in the fridge. Hi. How you doing? Oh, good. Mike good? Good. Nice. It's hard to explain to your girlfriend who doesn't understand, you know, why you're always hanging out at the shop, working on your buddy's bike, going for rides with your buddies on the weekend and not paying attention to them. You can't explain it. It's, it's, it's a, a love and a bond you can't really explain. Uh oh. Nice. Oh! Nice! Takahashi shows up armed. Holy shit! You like to drink. Well, Cuddy got a nice Cuddy frame. Where is it? I see your $200 frame. Yeah. Yeah. You just found this fucker out there in Hemet? Yeah. Bitch him. You already had a cross on it? Yeah. It's like a 70s Paco, I think. It's like someone did it with a paint pen. I had to put my touches on it. Better than buying one for a thousand dollars. With this bike, I'm I'm going more of like an early '60s style. From the ground up, starting with nothing. This is the first bike that that I've done. Um, the other bikes I found, whether it was a rolling chassis or you know half of a bike, you know I've I've sort of just built with what I had. With the earlier the '60s, the '50s. The shorter bikes is mostly what you saw, and and uh, the bobbers, and you know, and just stripped down knuckles and pan heads and stuff. I just, you know, I'm more partial to those. Not too good. This is good. <clears throat> Seat mount already. What happened to the? Oh no, my. Oh dang. Uh, when you get an old used frame like that, when you don't know what the story is in it, you want to go over every inch of it. Uh, make sure it's all in good shape, make sure there's no cracks, it's not bent, make sure everything's good and make sure it's going to be safe. It's not cracked anywhere. No, it looks good. Well, see this little hole, I'll have to weld that up. But... Oh, look, there's wires in there. That's for ventilation. Is there? You know somebody had wires in there from when they ran internal there's wires? No way to get a wire through that hole. Huh? Maybe you can fit it up to the top. Well, we'll have to find out where they had it running to, but... It's in these post frames for ventilation. <laughs> Yeah, there's, see, there's a hole here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, here's one here. Detail it. Yeah. Cool. Looks like a good piece. Good start.